By the way, none of this is by accident. It is by design. In a war, it's impossible to win without finding out first who you're fighting against. So let's talk about that. We can identify our enemies by a number of names. You can call them socialists, communists. They've been called Maoists at times. Critical theorists, postmodernists, postcolonialists. Sometimes they're fascists. Some of them call themselves proudly Democrats. But it doesn't matter which name they use because they're all synonyms for Marxism. The origins of our present culture war can be traced to the cultural Marxism of the early 1900s. And their original goal was to seize the means of control of the production of man and control economically, socioculturally, politically. Tear down the family, make the state your fatherland and your motherland. But shaping society and institutions through the middle class takes time. Guess what? The middle class doesn't want to give up their comfort and the way they live that easily. So the Marxists, as we say in sailing, they tacked. They tacked into focusing on culture. They turned their attention to who they pointed out as the new revolutionaries, the perceived outsiders in our society, the supposed victims of societal oppression. And they picked on them, and they manipulated them, and they shaped them into their new Marxist army. That's where we find the modern-day origins of our current culture war in America. Do you think all of a sudden, culture and industry began selling racial, sexual, gender, disability, body image, and other so-called intersectional characteristics by accident, as if there were genuine divisions amongst the American people? It was not by accident. This war between the factions of our society that have been created by the mainstream media and politicians is false, it's manufactured, and it's un-American. Now, a Christian pastor once explained his view of how we got where we are. He said, sin once tolerated seeks to be accepted. Sin once accepted seeks to be celebrated. As many of you know, I've spent my entire career fighting for Americans' fundamental rights as constitutional and civil rights attorney. Every day, my team and I at the Center for American Liberty stand down and stare down oppressive government and keep it at bay, even if it's just for a little while longer. Every minute of freedom is worth fighting for.